Yeah. So the way we like to close it out is with something that Muhammad likes to call the bottom line. Now, Michael has really been making a long concerted push to call it the terrible twos. Everybody in uh, the comments below, what do you think is the best way to describe or the best title for this final segment, the terrible twos or the bottom line? And really, I think, I think I'm it. probably finally ready to give up on the terrible twos and let's just only just call <laughs> it the bottom line. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they say. No, I'm, 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 I'm just going <laughs> to just go ahead and say I'm willing to just forget about the terrible twos that they ever happened or that anybody ever came up with this terrible name for a terrible... Right. Terrible totally thing. agree. As long as the comments uh, and say that, bo- and we'll just call it the bottom line. Muhammad's or, like, God, I hate you guys so much. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a different name. I couldn't come up with anything else. I got two. Or as, as Darth suggested, <laughs> the final deuce. Ooh. So anyway, um, what it is? It's the final two <laughs> the questions diploid. of the show. <laughs> the if, <diploid. laughs> if you're the right, that's a good one. <laughs> if, if you just want to know what, what's the bottom line here, guys, what are the two final questions of the show that tell me, should I watch this? Question number one, Michael Canyon Rosenberg, WandaVision, episode one, entitled episode one, scale of one to 10, what would you give it? Well, for that create, very creative name for the first episode, title of the first episode, uh, and so I've got, to, I've got to talk, kind of talk my way through this a little bit and give both of you some time to think about what your scores are going to be, because I've kind of been waffling on this a little bit. Like, so it's first toughy. of all, you have to give it points because it's Marvel number one and Wanda and vision are two pretty interesting characters from the Marvel cinematic universe. And I always thought that their relationship was interesting too. They're both, that's true. Kind of uh, interesting. What kind of one-off interesting characters like Wanda, like lost her twin brother vision, never had any family. He's just, he's just kind of this guy that was created from nothingness and brought into, into existence from an infinity stone. And um, they both have very interesting powers. And so that in itself, just all that wrapped up already brings it up to at least a four. At least just just that alone brings it up to a four. But then the execution of this episode, I know So you're saying the floor is a four. It starts at four, and the execution is a one through six from there. Right, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, obviously, Ryan thinks it's terrible, and I think that it was terrible for a reason. I think that they purposely made it terrible, Mm -hmm. and I think that they succeeded at that. And so that gives it another one. And um, I liked um, the, all like the mid-century feel of it. The, not only just the, the, the furniture and the clothing, but just like, like the acting was on point too. So I'll give that another point. Um, so we're already up to a six. It's interesting and, you don't allow anything to take anything down. It, things only push it up. That's interesting in terms of your <laughs> scale there. <laughs> ah, that's, that's an interesting point, yeah. Um, but I think I'll I think I'll leave it at a six. I think I'm gonna give it give it a six. Okay. For this first episode. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, Doctor Muhammad Noor of Star Trek and Duke University <laughs> fame. I think I'm going to be a lot more critical. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I mean, I feel like you know, if you have a show, let's say for example, this wasn't true at all. But let's say imagine the the acting was terrible. I'd be okay with going below the four. I mean, I don't, I mean, it wasn't in this case, but I, you know, in this case, I felt like there was a massive strategic mistake in, in my opinion. Uh, some mm-hmm. people may disagree in terms of not putting in more clues earlier on. I really agree with Ryan on that. Cause I, I actually didn't know. I didn't know where it was going. I thought like, this is just going to be bewitched again with maybe some subtle things happening in the background. Like, okay, I don't, I don't want to watch any more of that. I mean, I watched mm-hmm. Bewitched. I liked it. And, and that's done. That, that time has passed. So I'm somewhere between three and a four. I'll, I'll just go in the middle, three and a half. Wow. Yeah. Three and a half. Let me make a note of this. These are these are good, good things. Six. I mean, the acting was on point. I just point. feel like it was on oh, a massive strategic great, yeah. mistake. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Here well, we go. you know, I actually did something similar uh, to Michael, uh, where I was like, okay, this show. Except I'm not going to give them points for standing on the shoulders of giants like hey yeah. 
Marvel's done amazing things, but I'm not going to give these guys points because Marvel. I'm like, it's not fair to the new guys. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know. Maybe it's they're still the same people doing it. I don't know. Anyway, so I actually did a very similar thing. I but I started at a one because I was like, hey, this show freaking sucks. This is <laughs> terrible, and I hate it, and I want to turn it off or shoot myself in the head i'm just kidding i don't advocate for violence if i said shoot myself in the head i would just mean like shake my perrier and like whoosh, you know yeah. um so a one but i really liked the the stop it scene the stop it stop i was like i could almost give it two points just for that but i won't because that's ludicrous <laughs> why would i give it two full points for one funny scene i i was going to though when i first saw it uh, but then I talked myself off of that fallacy. Um, but if I get that and combine it with a little bit of humor from the the office talk, and also I think this young lady nails it, yeah. way to go. I don't know if it's just her acting is 100% on point or if they just picked somebody that's perfect for this. Either way. So I will stick with a three. I will let them work me up to a three. All right. Um, it's just terrible. Sorry, it's, it's terrible. Uh, but now the second question is, uh, let me make sure the world knows it's a three. There we go. Uh, <laughs> for the purposes of this podcast, we had to watch WandaVision. Now that the podcast is over and we are free to move about the internet, Michael Canyon Rosenberg, would you watch the second episode? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> Sadist. Which is going to be hard because my, no, wife does not, my wife does not want to watch the second episode. Mm. Uh, but I am definitely interested to see how they got in this world, to find out what, where, where this takes place in the timeline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and um, to find out like what's... What's going on? How did they get there? Why did they put them there? What's going on? Mm -hmm. I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Muhammad, would you so, watch the second? After seeing the first, my inclination was no, but I did Google and see that <laughs> it's going to grow quite a bit from there. <laughs> so I think I'll probably watch, so this is gonna be a funny answer. I'll probably watch the second, but I probably won't watch past the second because I, I already paid for the one month of, uh, of um, Disney to Disney watch Mandalorian. <laughs> so and I watched all Mandalorian a couple of weeks ago and it's about to run out. So I might watch that tonight, then I'll probably cancel my Disney subscription. <laughs> <laughs> like, Unless Done. it's really good and then you'll be uh, like, oh, Probably still it. not, probably still not. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. But that'd be really good. I mean, to come after that first episode. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you guys may find this a surprise, <laughs> but I, based, on, based on this first episode and nothing else, I would not watch this first episode because I don't want to encourage this kind of behavior um, where they think they can get away with this kind of filth and trick us huge Marvel fans into watching something that sucks. Um, so... I will root for it to get good. I will listen in. Uh, <laughs> I will end up possibly watching it maybe if someday people are like, it's vital to the storyline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are things that happen and then I would have like a negotiation with like how many episodes in does it get good? How, you know, but based on this first episode, absolutely not, you know, no, no, no. Um, because it doesn't deserve it. I'm happy, <laughs> what do you really think? <laughs> I'm happy for the lesson that it taught me, which is don't <laughs> trust anything, even, even a, a well-trusted uh, franchise. Trust. Anyway, moving on from that. Uh, Muhammad, it's been great having you. Thanks for uh, having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Everybody at home, be sure to suggest something for us to watch, but be careful. We will be honest. If it's something you like, we yeah. learned that lesson with Babylon 5, right, Michael? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we I weren't think a even lot of people learned that lesson from, from me. And, uh, yeah. We weren't even that harsh on Babylon 5. We gave it between like a four and a half and a seven, I think. I was, I was pretty harsh on it. To, and you still gave it like a four and a half or five. And people were like, you son of a. 
So well, anyway, a lot of great franchises start off rough. I mean, think like Star Trek: Next Generation. The pilot there, right. man, it wasn't that good. It was eh. <laughs> right? right, absolutely right. But we are in the 2020s now, and so mm-hmm. they are come strong. But then it's Marvel, so I'll watch it. The Roaring Twenties. So. Um, yeah, everybody at home, make sure to give us a suggestion in the comments below the comment section. Say WTF MacGyver or WTF. The new MacGyver. The new MacGyver. <laughs> uh, whatever you like, whatever your pleasure. And please be sure to give us a like, even if we chat on your favorite show, because, you know, you still want to support people shitting, yeah. right? Have know. you done Mandalorian? Yeah. We did. Okay, did Mandalorian. Okay. Yeah. That, that's an easy one. That was, that was number us. two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, what, what else do we do after this, Michael? We just... Uh, this podcast. Yeah, we just finished it off then. All right. So this podcast um, was a fun time with good friends. Oh, that's what I was going to say. This podcast, <laughs> this podcast was Ryan shitting all over this show. And me it trying shit on to me stick first. up for it. It shit on me first. <laughs> this podcast was a very honest exchange of our thoughts <laughs> and yeah. fun too thank you thank, thank you. you so much dr muhammad Noor. everybody be sure to check out his uh podcast it's really awesome you'll find it in the description box below and uh watch all the other episodes we have and as michael Kenyon rosenberg always likes to remind us don't forget to watch the first of things even if they're terrible <laughs> tm <laughs> <laughs>